do not be afraid of your horse. I'm sitting on the ground right now. As you can see, she walks up. She stops a safe distance away. I'm not worried. And the way you get that kind of trust, or you feel safe with your horse, is spending time with it. And then you get to know it. Get to know what to expect from it. And you get to know that, well, there's no reason to worry about it. Don't fear your horse. The horse will not hurt you. A horse is a very gentle, they're not a big, dumb, clumsy animal that a lot of people seem to think they are. They're actually a extremely gentle, calm animal. Yeah, it's a good girl. See, I can sit on the ground here. She's not going to step on me. She's not going to kick me. She's not going to bite me. I have absolutely nothing to worry about. She's a good girl. I trust her. And if uh, you don't trust your horse, why should your horse trust you? It's a two-way street. Like I said way back in the beginning, beginning uh, you get what you give. So, if you give gentleness and trust your horse, if you don't hurt your horse, the horse is never going to hurt you. They're brilliant animals. They're very gentle, very respectful, very careful. She's never going to step on me. I don't have to worry about it. No horse will. You treat it good, it'll treat you good. Remember, you get what you give. Trust your horse. Well, we're up in the lawn chair now, and she'll stretch her little nose out to me, but the feet stay back there. And just to show you how respectful she is, the horse treats are sitting right there on my side table. She doesn't try taking them. She waits for me to give them to her. I got nothing to worry about here. We can sit here all day like this and she's not going to crowd me. She's not going to step on me. She's not going to knock me over. She's a good girl. It's because we spend time together. Lots and lots of time. And that's how you develop a relationship with your horse. You spend time with it. You get to know it. It gets to know you. And then you can have a relationship like this where you don't need to have a halter and lead on it. And you don't need to ever fear your horse because it's never going to hurt you because you know it. It's just that simple. She's a good girl. Well, I'm not sure how well you can see them, but on her chin are very, very tiny, tiny little hairs sticking out. And uh, she can actually feel before she touches something. Uh, a couple of times she's actually touched my water bottle and jerked her head back before she ever knocked it over. So, just as an example, you see how close she'll get. She won't actually hit things because she can feel them before she even touches them. And if she thinks it's something that she's not supposed to be touching, she'll jerk her head back pretty quick. Uh, don't underestimate horses. They aren't the big clumsy animals that people think, really. I don't have to worry. She'll never knock my water bottle over. Oh, and just for the record, uh, that's just tap water in there. I bought the bottle once just so I'd have the bottle because I like this one with the flip top on it. So I don't lose the cap. Easy to open and close. But uh, I'm not going to waste my money on bottled water when the tap water is perfectly fine out here. So I just keep refilling it. I think I've refilled that one a couple hundred times now. So don't don't think I'm encouraging buying bottled water with this thing. I just, I bought it for the bottle. That's all.